Ladies and gents, hello and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a short guide on how to restore your iPod Touch first generation. Now, these are difficult to restore because for some reason, Apple does not host the IPSW file needed to restore these. So even through iTunes, you cannot restore a first gen iPod Touch. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All you need is a Mac computer. I know this works on Catalina. We're gonna try it on Monterey. This is a 2015 13-inch MacBook Air, fully updated. This is the latest version that it supports. I tried this on macOS Sequoia and it did not work. So I don't know what the cutoff is, but this does work on some versions. It does not work on others, but we're gonna try here on Monterey. So first things first, we've got our iPod. We're gonna connect it to the MacBook. This one has a password that I don't know, so we're gonna go ahead and erase it. This works if your iPod is in DFU mode or recovery mode, so either one is just fine. We're gonna go ahead and put this into DFU mode by holding down the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. Then we're gonna let go of the power button while holding the home button for an additional five to 10 seconds. It should pop up on our computer when it's ready. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there it is, it popped up. It does actually read it as an iPhone to begin with, but it is definitely an iPod touch. And we're gonna use, well, let's see what's going on here. It went ahead and rebooted so what's it gonna do? Is it gonna go into iTunes mode or is it just gonna boot back into iOS? Okay, so I went to recovery mode. That's fine because I know this process works in recovery mode as well. So let's get a finder window opened. Keep in mind, I do know this works on macOS Catalina. We're gonna see if it works here on Monterey and I need the iPod to show up. There we go. Okay, so it's detected it in recovery mode. And if you were to click on restore here, like you typically would, it does not work. So if you do restore and then restore an update, you're gonna get this error here. The iPod software update server could not be contacted. That's because Apple does not host the files needed to do this on their own servers. Don't know why, but there is a workaround. So what you need is the download or the file that I have linked in the description. It is an IPSW file for the iPod Touch first gen. Shout out to Elite Obsolete Electronics. That's where I got this from. I'll leave his video linked down below. I'm just doing a quick guide for you guys here. So we'll open up Finder. Here's our iPod Touch. Once you've got that file downloaded, move it to your desktop or somewhere that's easy to access. Okay, now what we wanna do is we're gonna hold down the Option key and then click on Restore iPod. And that's gonna allow us to pick a custom file. We're gonna go to Desktop. Here is that file that we downloaded. It looks just like this. Then we're gonna click open and finder slash iTunes is gonna begin the restore process here using this file that we provided it. Now this would work just fine using finder by itself if Apple hosted this file on their servers, but for some reason they don't do that anymore. That's why you get the error when you try to do it on your own. So here we have the progress bar. That means this is working. The iPod is currently being restored and iOS 3.1.3 is being installed on this iPod Touch. We'll go ahead and let this sit here and I'll speed up the video until this is done. All right, the iPod has finished restoring and as you can see, we've got the slide to unlock. If it says connect to iTunes, then you just have to open it again in Finder and the computer has to basically activate the iPod before you can use it, but it did itself here and there we go, we are on the home screen. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Hopefully it was pretty straightforward. If you run into any problems, leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get that answered for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in another one of my videos.